Here at the Sustainably Yours Homestead, we take compost fodder such as this and Pesto Changeo into gourmet food. Do you want to see how the magic happened? Stay right there and I'll show you. Now I don't like throwing things away and I don't like being wasteful. So when I read that the entire radish plant is edible from the root that we usually eat all the way up to the leaves and the flowers and the seeds, I knew I had to give them a try. The recipe that I'm gonna be trying today is a radish top pesto. Um, I've got about five, a little over five pounds of radish tops. So I'm gonna end up making way more than I'll be able to eat uh, in the short term. So we're gonna be preparing some for for use like now and then the rest of it we're going to be freezing. Now the reason I want to use this pesto recipe is that um, these radish tops they are not very good for fresh eating. If you look along the stem you'll see these little spiny things and then the leaves are a little spiny, a little prickly. They're not bad but it's not the kind of texture you want when you're eating a salad. So uh, we're going to end up chopping these up really tiny. I guess you could also cook them find recipes where, the, where you cook them, but the most common recipe that I found was uh, pesto. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and kind of process what's in this sink really fast, and I'll be right back with you. I almost forgot to mention what I'm doing here. Um, when I process this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of get rid of any leaves that don't look really awesome. This one is yellowing, so we'll pull that off and get rid of it. Uh, this one's got a little yellow on it. I'm not too concerned about a couple of little bug holes, but like this one's eaten up pretty badly. So I'm gonna tear off the leaves that I don't like. Whatever is left here, I'm gonna wash it really well, make sure I get all the dirt off of it, make sure I check it for bugs, and then I'm gonna set it off to the side over here. All right, here are the leaves that I'm gonna be using. These are the stems and the, the yellowish leaves. What I ended up doing, I just started kind of taking the tops and I would twist them off right about there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. But I would twist them off right about there and then whatever leaves I wanted I would toss in there and the stems are gonna go in the compost. They're still not really going to waste. They'll be used in next year's garden as soil, maybe the year after that. But this is what's going to the compost. Here's what we're about to work with. Now I'll make sure to give it all a good rinse. Make sure I have all the dirt off of them. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and cull any uh, iffy leaves that you missed the first time around. I'm more or less following a recipe that I'm getting from a website called fromachefskitchen.com. And I'll link the recipe in the video description here, but we're gonna take a blender. I guess you could use a, a food processor, but I have a blender, so. We're gonna take about four cups of our greens. We're gonna pack them in, tightly packed, up to four cups. Four cup mark is about right here. Four cups of greens. We're gonna have a lot of uh, pesto, it looks like. Because I still have two more gallon sized bags of this stuff. Next up, we're gonna take our garlic, or in my case, elephant garlic. And I'm gonna use three cloves. There we go. I'm 
gonna go ahead and give it a few chops here. I'm gonna throw it in the blender, but just to make sure it's nice. We're gonna take our lemon, slice it in half, and I'm going to use the juice. I've seen recipes that call for lemon zest, but uh, I'm not. I'm not that kitcheny, so I'm just gonna use the juice of the lemon. Let's see it's out of there. Oops. I guess if I'd been smart about it, I would have juiced the lemon into a cup. Let the seeds out. that'd be a lesson to you. Alright, that'll do it. Juice of half a lemon. Now I'm gonna take half a cup of my slivered almonds. I'm gonna make a mess. You gotta make messes. There we go, half a cup of slivered almonds. Give that a pour. Half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And we are going to start with a third of a cup of olive oil. There's about a third of a cup. And according to the recipe, it says we'll be adding more as needed to get the texture we want. I'll toss in a little salt. I don't know how much to add, so I'm just going to put a little bit. And if I need more, I can always add it. Same thing with pepper. I like a lot of pepper, so there we go. That's it for the ingredients. Now, let's get to blending. I'm going to use just the pulse function. Get a little chop, chop, chop. And I'm probably going to have to do a lot of uh, pressing and mixing and all of that stuff. See what it looks like. And right there is some radish green pesto. Wonder how it tastes. Hmm. I've never had pesto before. That I know of, but that's pretty good. Let me add a little bit more salt to it. Pretty good. So there you have it. An easy, tasty way to turn those radish tops, which let's face it, they were compost bound and you know it, but now we've turned them into some gourmet food. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give us that thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like to see how I'm gonna use this pesto to make a gourmet dinner for two for me and my beautiful wife, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.